بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آف کلاس نائنتھ ہوپ فلی یو ول بی ڈوئنگ گڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ نمبر ایٹ اینڈ دس یونٹ از اے پیم دا ٹائٹل آف دا پیم از اسٹاپنگ بائی ووڈس آن اے اسنوئی ایوننگ اسٹاپنگ بائی ووڈس on a snowy evening this poem has been written by robert frost all right talking about this title okay if you pay attention you can see the meanings and the theme of the poem uh, with the help of this title stopping by woods woods mean forest jungle okay someone has stopped in the jungle in the woods and that someone is the pet himself robert frost and the time is evening and the weather is snowy snow is falling at the time of evening the pet is passing by the woods after seeing this snowy evening the beautiful scene of snowy evening he has stopped for a while uh, there so uh, we can now understand this poem will describe the nature as well okay now see the first stanza whose woods these are i think i know his house is in the village though he will not see me stopping here to watch his birds fill up with snow after stopping by woods the pet asks himself he put a question to himself and says whose birds these are then he himself replies and says i think i know i think i know whose words these are means i know who the owner of these words his house is in the village though the person who possess these villages these uh, words uh, the owner of the words his house is in the village though agar che uska ghar village mein hai saath wale gaon mein hai he will not see me stopping here so because he is not present there he will be in his in his house in the village so he is not able to see me that i have stopped there in his forest to watch his birds fill up with snow and he would not be able to see me that i have stopped there and i am watching his birds his forest that has been filled up with the snow all right next stanza my little horse must think it queer to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year all right he is riding on a on a horse so he says my little horse means my lovely horse must think it queer 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 means strange odd ajeeb my little horse must think it queer mera jo horse hai wo isko ajeeb samjhega kisko ajeeb samjhega to stop without a farm house near he will think it queer he will think it strange that i have stopped there without a farm house near there isn't any farm house near the forest and i have stopped there without any purpose so my little horse can think it uh, queer strange uh, to stop without a farm house near between the woods and the frozen lake i have stopped between the woods and there is a frozen lake 
आइस ऑफ लेक एक जमी हुई वहाँ पे झील है उस झील और जंगल के दरमियान में रुक गया हूँ और मेरे इस रुकने को मेरा जो घोड़ा है वो अजीब समझ रहा होगा द डॉकेस्ट इवनिंग ऑफ द एयर एंड द टाइम इज द डॉकेस्ट इवनिंग ओके द ब्लैक इवनिंग हॉरिबल इवनिंग दे रहा है तारीखी है ऑफ द एयर ओके इट सीम्स दैट दिस इज द डॉकेस्ट इवनिंग ऑफ द एयर एंड आई हैव स्टॉप देयर एंड माय लिटिल थिंग माय लिटिल हॉर्स मस थिंक इट स्ट्रेंज दैट विद आउट पर्पस विद आउट एनी फॉर्म हाउस हियर आई व्हाई हैव आई स्टॉप देयर ही गिव्स हिज हॉर्नेस बेल्स अ शेक to ask if there is some mistake the only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flake he gives his harness bells a shake harness bells is the bell uh, bell of her harness bells of bridle jo ghode ki lagam hoti hai us lagam ke sath jo chhoti chhoti bells lagi hoti hain that are called harness bells harness is a bridle bridle mean lagam jo ghode ko lagam lagate hain jisse usko control kiya jata hai strips with the help uh, we control horses bridle uh, okay he gives his bridle or harness bells a shake shake and jerk wo apne un harness bells ko hilata hai puchne ke liye kya puchne ke liye to ask if there is some mistake to ask the pet if there is some mistake okay uh, is there any problem why have you stopped in the forest at the darkest evening of the year the only other sounds is sounds mean sound is the sweep okay apart from the uh, voice of uh, harness bells there is the only other sound that is of sweep साउंड ऑफ स्वीप ओके स्वीप मीन साइज साइज की आवाजें ओके सी सी की आवाजें स्वीप मोशन वेव जो वेव की आवाज होती है और स्वीप 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 झाड़ू को भी कहते हैं जब झाड़ू लगाया जाता है तो जो आवाज पैदा हो जाती है दैट इज कॉल्ड साउंड ऑफ स्वीप ओके ये स्वीप की आवाज किस चीज से क्रिएट हो रही है ऑफ इजी वेंट एंड डाउनी फ्लेक ओके स्वीप ऑफ इजी विंड इजी विंड सॉफ्ट विंड ओके नरम नरम सी आहिस्ता आहिस्ता जो हवा चल रही है एंड द डाउनी फ्लेक और नरमो मलैम जो फ्लेक्स पीसेस को कहा जाता है इट मींस फ्लेक्स ऑफ स्नो पीसेस ऑफ स्नो जो बर्फ गिर रही है जो नरमो मलैम बर्फ गिर रही है और हल्की हल्की हवा चल रही है okay these two things downy flake and easy wind they are creating the sound of sweep ye sweep ki awaaz paida kar rahe hain okay matlab wahan pe jo ek jadoo ki awaaz hoti hai cc ki awaaz hoti hai wo awaaz aa rahi hai so there are only two sounds can be heard one is the uh, sound of uh, harness bells of the horse and the other sound is the sweep of easy wind and the downy flake Right next uh, stanza. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Okay, the woods are lovely, beautiful, dark, black, and deep. Okay, in depth. Okay, the, there are uh, a lot of uh, trees in the jungle in woods okay so woods are lovely they are beautiful they are dark they are deep but i have promises to keep okay although uh, the lovely dark and deep look of the woods are catching my imagination it is catching my uh, it, it is attracting me but he says the pet says i have promises to keep i have words to keep maine bahut se vaade kar rakhe hain maine wo pure karne hain if i keep standing here i will not be able to keep my promises with the people logon se maine jo vaade kiye hain apni zindagi se jo vaade kiye hain maine zindagi mein jo kaam karne hain bahut sare wo kaam mere reh jayenge agar main fakat 
इस जंगल की ब्यूटी को देखता रहूं और जहीं पे खड़ा रहूं। Although I liked, I love the scene, but I have uh, to go. I am a traveler. I have to travel ahead uh, to fulfill my promises and miles to go before I sleep. Okay, before I sleep, here it can be the meanings can be before I, before my death. Okay. यानी कि सोने से पहले या अपनी जिंदगी के खत्म होने से पहले मैंने माइल्स टू गो बहुत ज्यादा सफर करना है आई हैव ट्रैवल अ लॉट मैंने बहुत सी जिंदगी में काम करनी है एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई स्लीप ही रिपीट्स द सेम बिकॉज़ दिस इट शोस द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ हिज प्रॉमिसेस हिज वर्क्स दैट ही हैज टू डू इन द फ्यूचर इन हिज लाइफ Okay, if you look at this question, first question, what hidden meanings do the following words convey to us? Woods, house, horse, harness bells, downy flake. Okay, like every pet has, uh, uh, he uses some phrases, some words, okay, uh, which have hidden meanings. Similarly, these words also have hidden hidden meanings uh, that the pet wants to convey to us. First one is woods. In fact, woods here represent the nature, the bright side of the nature and the dark side of the nature, both. Okay, every aspect of nature. So woods uh, representing nature. Okay, then is house. House is representing a civil life. Okay, log jo shari zindagi guzarte hain, usko represent kar raha hai. then is horse horse can be the agent or representative of the society horse harness bells harness bells are the alarm or the knock of consciousness that alerts pet that he is a traveler and he is to travel a long journey ye jisko hum zameer ki awaaz kehte hain मतलब उसकी इनर साइड जो है वो जो उसको बेदार करती है कि तुमने यहीं पर रुकना नहीं है तुमने आगे जाना है ओके दिस इज हॉर्नेस बैल्स इज उस जमीर की आवाज बातिन की आवाज है एक देन इज डाउनी फ्लेक्स ओके डाउनी फ्लेक्स और दे रिप्रेजेंट अ ब्लैंकेट टू गो अंडर एंड कवर्ड ओके नेक्स्ट इज नोट द अलिटरेशन एंड इमेजरी इन द फ्रेम alliteration and imagery okay these both are uh, techniques that are used in poetry i will define it uh, when we will solve exercises of uh, this chapter now see the theme of this chapter and you will write the theme as well on uh, on your notebooks the poem prints up the poem prints out at the attractive and exciting beauty of nature and simultaneously hints at the need to carry on with the daily affairs of life the poem points out okay points or point out karna ishara karna kis cheez ki tarah poem ishara karti hai at the attractive and exciting beauty of nature nature has attractive uh, exciting beauty and uh, at the same time simultaneously at the same time it hints at the need to carry on with the daily affairs of life ke zindagi ke rozana ke jo mamlaat hain unko jari rakhne rakhna bhi zaruri hai is par bhi point out karti hai ji poem ke jahan pe hum ye bata rahi hai ki nature ke andar beauty pai jati hai nature attract karti hai lekin saath saath ye bhi batati hai ki is attraction mein nahi kho jana chahiye iski beauty mein nahi kho jana chahiye बल्कि जिंदगी के जो मामला हैं दीगर अफेयर्स हैं काम हैं उन सब को बुझा लाना चाहिए द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फैंटेसी द वर्ल्ड ऑफ इमेजिनेशन फैंटेसी खयालती दुनिया जो होती है तखयलाती दुनिया इज वेरी इनवाइटिंग ओके मीन्स अट्रैक्टिव एक्साइटिंग ओके बहुत ज़्यादा कैप्टिवेटिंग उसको अट्रैक्ट करती है अपनी तरफ ख्यालती दुनिया बट one must maintain balance between the world of reality and the imagination 
لیکن انسان کو چاہیے کہ وہ بیلنس رکھے متوازن زندگی گزارے دنیا کی جو ریالٹی ہے اس کو بھی نظر میں رکھے اور امیجنیشن کو بھی ان دونوں کو ساتھ ساتھ چلائے صرف ایک کی طرف مائل نہ ہو جائے اوکے ناؤ ہیئر از یور ہوم ورک فار دس چیپٹر فار ٹو ڈیز چیپٹر کمپریہینشن آنسر دا فالوئنگ کویشچن یو ول رائٹ یور سیلف دا آنسرز ٹو دیز کویشچن ہو از دا اسپیکر ان دا پلین As I told you, okay, the fact himself is a speaker in this poem. Whom does the speaker refer to in the first stanza of the poem? First stanza mein usne kis ki baat ki hai? Kis ke matalik baat ki hai? Okay, you better know. You will write yourself. Why does the speaker stop on the darkest evening of the year? What is the purpose of his stopping uh, at the on the darkest evening of the year why does the horse impatiently be sabri ke sath impatiently await the next move of his master okay wo kyon be sabri se intezar kar raha hai ki mera master next move matlab aage ki taraf chale aage ki taraf chale yahan pe ruk ke nahi wo kyon wait kar raha hai okay what is the thing that is uh, making him impatient Okay, number five. The speaker in the poem is captivated by the beauty of nature. Okay, the beauty of nature has attracted him. The speaker, the poem. Why doesn't he stop for long to enjoy nature's beauty? क्या वजह है कि वहाँ पे वो nature beauty के enjoy करने के लिए ज़्यादा देर नहीं रुकता, बल्कि चलने की बात करता है. What is the reason? You will write the reason of this. Okay, you will write theme of this chapter on your notebook and after that you will write the answers of these questions uh, on your notebook. In the next lecture, uh, I will dictate you paraphrasing and the summary of this uh, chapter and we also uh, solve some other exercises in the next part of uh, this chapter.